Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a cheek product declutter. This is blushes, highlighters and bronzer and I've exceeded my storage space that I would like to give to these items. So I am going to have to do a declutter. And there's a lot here and I don't know how it will go, but let's get started, otherwise we'll get nowhere. I'm gonna start by things that I know I'm gonna keep. Um, this is the Nude Sticks Bloom in Rusty Rouge, relatively new, new to me, and it's a beautiful shade. Um, also the matte version of that, this is Sunkissed. It's a different color, um, but I like both formulas. They're very easy to use, and Sunkissed is, can, I can get away with like no bronzer and just using this all over my cheek. Love these two, definitely keeping those. Two new ones that I got are the Blush from Made by Mitchell in Cherry Cola and Mango Dakiri. And I'm gonna keep both. Mango Dakiri is a very weird, more like yellowy, orangey yellow blush. It swatches orange, but when you blend it out, it kind of looks like yellow. I'm very curious. I haven't tried this on my eyes, uh, on my cheeks yet. And the other one is Cherry Cola, which you've actually seen in action in my uh, in a recent video of mine so I'm gonna keep those two I like the formulas so far but they're also very new to me so I don't think I can say that I want to get rid of it I'm gonna keep the Natasha Denona puff paint in nude I love this shade it works really good for me for an everyday nude warm nude blush definitely keeping that one as well similar to that but quite new to me is Glossier Dusk and I am going to keep it because it's new and I want to figure out if I like it or not. Um, I got the second hand and so far I've been liking it. It's a very nice nude. Um, Nabla Desert Rose. I think this is one of those that I can actually get rid of. Never loved the formula and the color is so-so. So I'm gonna get rid of Desert Dusk. I have two blush sticks from Colourpop, the shade Aloha and Under Pressure. Aloha is a nude and I think I'm gonna get rid of that one because I have these other two nudes that I prefer. And Under Pressure is a coral and I want to see if I have a coral in my collection before I get rid of it. So this is a maybe. It's also a bit uh, of a stiffer formula compared to others that I have. So I'm not 100% sure I love it. Keeping the flower balm in uh, blush balm in, uh, in cinnamon. This is also a very nice uh, warm yeah, cinnamon color, I guess. Very Alice. I have multiple shades that are very similar to this. I compared these at some point, I remember. Um, they all look very similar, but I love this and I'm definitely keeping it. I'm keeping the Lisa Eldritch Enlivening Brush Blush in Dante's Dream. Somehow, and I don't know what happened, she stopped um, having this now on, on her website, at least in the late, latest launch. I guess they're trying to reformulate. This is super hard to get out of the packaging. It's a beautiful, I don't know how to call it. It's a beautiful shade. I love it. It's quite unique and I use it very happily together with, for example, Pat McGrath Flash 3 lipstick. It's a very wintry shade. Definitely keeping from Nude Sticks the Nudies in Picante. This is a new -er blush to me and it's a beautiful fiery orange. This is a collaboration with Alana, who's on YouTube. And let me see. Cheek Slime by Freck. I haven't used this enough at all, but I do like the formula. And there's a ton of product here. Ah, oh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Slightly similar to Rusty Rouge right here, but more orange, but not as fiery as that one. So keeping that one as well. Love it. Another liquid is the Daniel Sandler in Spicy. I do like this one a lot. I haven't used it in a while, but it's a, it's more of a rosy blush, but still kind of that burnt, warm burnt shade. Yeah, really like it. And I'm gonna keep that one as well. 
Then I have two milk ones. These are uh, Quirk, which is a more berry type of shade, and Work, which is more of a rosy nude. I think there's space for both in my collection in terms of shades, so I'm gonna keep both. And one container is already full. Of course, it's not the ideal <laughs> storage situation, but this is what I keep in my drawers, and I don't wanna exceed these. So, let's move on and do something different. Let's do um, powder blushes. I have from Nabla quite a few. I have Truth, which is my favorite of the skin glazing blushes. It's a beautiful peachy with a beautiful, gorgeous sheen right there. Then I have the shade Independence, which is um, more of a nude shade, but with a little bit of a cooler reflect on it. And I, I'm i gonna keep it because I still find myself reaching for it when I wear a little bit more cooler tone shades. The shade Lola is more of a coral. So for example, I'd keep Lola and mm, give away uh, under pressure. So I'm gonna keep Lola, give away under pressure, and then I have the shade Auto Adults Only from the Skin Glazing, which is a red, and um, it's so unique in my collection that I'm definitely keeping it. All of these are gorgeous. I love the formula. I didn't expect to get rid of any of them. Then I have here the Jouet Duo in uh, Terracotta Sands and Hot Coral. It was a from a summer collection. It's a beautiful, beautiful duo with a more, indeed, terracotta shade and a little bit more of a, I don't know, peachy shade. And I've been keeping these because one of them is a dupe for the co Cover FX blush duo that I want, and they're both quite luminous. They don't, all of these don't swatch fantastic, but um, I wanna keep them both. I still love them and I use them time to time. This is not going very well, is it? <laughs> From Vive, I have the blush in Pesca, and uh, this is a beautiful orangey. Um, it's not really peach. Pesca means peach in Italian. It's not really a peach. It's more of a light orange shade, and um, it is a matte, but with a little bit of dimension and sheen, which, yeah, I like. I'm gonna keep that one. This, this is that peachy, but in the Glow Play formula by MAC, I use this quite a bit recently. Um, and this is more of a peach, I find. So it's a little bit pinkier than Piazza. Um, quite similar to, <laughs> it's quite similar to a lot of things. But I do like it and I use it, so I think it can stay. From Colourpop, I have quite newer ones for me. This is Darling, Super Shock Cheek. I showed you one this in, the, in a Get Ready With Me when I tried all of my new Colourpop things. I love this shade. It's a perfect burnt terracotta orange shade and it has a sheen. I love it. Definitely keeping that one. Also keeping the other two that I have which are Bardot which is discontinued by my very sad sad like I, I was very sad when I heard the news. It's a beautiful deeper version of Darling and I'm looking if I have a lot of similar things to be honest because I love these. This one has also sheen and the last one of uh, Colourpop is Drop of a Hat and this is more of a summer blush for me because it has a very strong shift, very strong golden sheen to it and a bit of a more, I don't know, reddish, corally base. Love this one. Repurchased it because I had lost it. Definitely keeping that one as well. With blush, I am afraid there's not much that's gonna go, to be honest. Um, Patrick Tashi So LA, one of my favorite, favorite blushes I ever owned. Definitely not going anywhere. It's a very just uh, Alessi shade. Maybe I should get rid of this. Um, it's a beautiful shade. It's similar to probably Sunkissed a little bit. Um, nice brown powder and cream. Love them both. This blush is from Ofra. It was a present present from a friend. It's called Format. I like it, but I never wear it. And it's a sheeny, brownish, 
I think I want to pass this one along. I hope someone else will love it as much as I do because I really just don't use it. We also still have my newest Nabla 2 Reasons. This is in the shade Flush Terracotta. Definitely keeping this one. It's again another brownie terracotta shade. Do I have enough of these? No. Also similar to many other things, I guess. But definitely keeping that one, it's new. Ah, this one is also full. See, we're already past the two. And I'm still not done with blushes. I have Rose Latte, Rose Latte from uh, Fenty. Love this one, keeping it for sure. Um, again, another beautiful. They're all the same, you guys. They're all the same. <laughs> Love this one as well. Love uh, this one, which is Fenty Glow from last year's holiday collection. This is a more uh, shimmery and more like cookie color. Um, here you can see them next to each other. It's lighter and shimmery, whereas the other one is deeper and matte. Love them both. Definitely gonna keep both. Um, Plum Berry by Honest Beauty. I haven't used this in a while and yeah, kind of, I wouldn't want to say it sealed itself, but almost, and yeah, I don't know, I like it when I need a, a plum color, but I also kept the milk one, which um, is also a, like more of a reddish version of a plum though, no, I'm gonna keep it, I like it, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm doing very, very badly at this, then from Melt, this is Sundown. This is more, it's newer to me, so I'm definitely keeping it. And this is a um, very bright, shimmery blush. Maybe looks a little bit like Fenty Glow, actually. Ooh. No, I think Fenty Glow is a little bit still more nude. I think Fenty Glow is still a little bit more nude, so I'm gonna keep that one as well. Too many blushes, too little space. And then I have a pile of things that I'm actually pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of. These are from Tarte. Uh, I haven't used these in a long time and I recently uh, did a throwback. Uh, yeah, these don't swatch at all. Um, it's always been like this with the Tarte. I did a throwback with this one, which is a shade Risqué, which is full size. And as much as I like the color, I don't use powder matte blushes really anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of these pass them along. This one from Madina, I haven't used in over a year, more. It's a beautiful coral blush, but honestly, oh, so beautiful though. I tend to reach for Lola rather than that one, just because it's there. And Lola is a little bit warmer. I'll just get rid of the Madina one. I haven't used it in over a year. It's unlikely that I will now. This is a single blush that Yes Style sent me uh, from the brand The Same. Um, it's in the shade Honey Yellow and it's a yellow blush. And um, I think that I should keep it because it's a yellow blush. But also I have Mango Dakiri and I have another yellow that I prefer as a blush than this. So I'm gonna pass this one along. And more blushes are in these palettes, and these I haven't touched for sure in over a year. There's an Inglot, and these are deep potted, um, what is it called? Sleek blushes. I'm just gonna get rid of these. I might keep the Inglot one uh, to give away. Uh, the sleek ones I will throw because they're old, and I repress them, and I try to depot them, and I haven't touched them since. So I'm definitely not gonna use them. So these will all go unfortunately. Also, it's not my style. I don't really do creative makeup a lot anymore. I don't have time and I do makeup for my everyday. So these shades are much more likely. I will wear yellow in summer, but these shades um, are unlikely to be used by me. Also, they're matte and they're powder and I don't do that anymore. So these will all go. These are my MAC and uh, I decluttered this last year. And of course, I didn't open this palette since. <laughs> However, I must say, I did um, like repan. These are from. However, I must say, I, I repanned these from the um, Becca and Khloe Kardashian 
palette and I love them. Definitely gonna keep them. I, I use them for travel. They're luminous blushes and they're very, very pretty. Um, they're just beautiful, luminous blushes right there. So I'm gonna keep these for sure. I recently re started using again uh, these Nabla uh, blushes because I wanted to see if I like them. I still like them. My MAC blushes are still good and I love, um, I love the shades that I have. So I'm gonna keep this palette as is. These are actually, yeah, two sleek that I repanned that I would keep to travel with. So I'm gonna keep this palette as is, but I'm gonna put it on my desk to use because I haven't used it all year, which is a pity, to be honest. I think that was it with blushes. Didn't do much of, of a dent into decluttering, but I mean, I don't know. I have decluttered this much. Something, it's something. I thought about it again while I was cleaning my hands and I'm going to be decluttering Quirk by Melt because yeah, the Honest Beauty one is enough of a plum and I, or a berry and I never use this. So I'm going to get rid of that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's go through my blush palette or my face palettes real quick. This is the Blush Quad in Ghost and I haven't used it in the longest time, but it's so beautiful that I want to use it and I'm keeping it. I love it. The quality of these powders is amazing. Same thing goes with the Unlocked palette. I use this one more than the other one because there's more here. There's a bronzer, there's a highlight, two blushes, two powders of which um, you can see this one I used much more of compared to the other one. I love this one, keeping both of them. I need to make a point on using them more, but I'm keeping both of them. Now let's move on to bronzers. Um, I hunted down the Milk Makeup a year ago. I went all the way to Germany to get it and I'm definitely keeping it. A beautiful bronzer. Um, this is a mini in Bondi Bay of the uh, Nude Sticks Matte Bronzer. And to be honest, I actually like it. I've used it a few times and I think I'm gonna keep it. Here you can see the difference in color. It's a bit lighter than the Melt one. In Cream, I also have my Chanel that I'm trying to finish and it's part of my project pan. And I love this. This is the old formula though, uh, in what was called a universal shade at the time. You can see though, Quite interesting how many different bronzers I can pull off because these are all beautiful formulas that you can really easily blend. So I love this Chanel one. I'm trying to pan it because it's old, but I am definitely gonna keep it and keep using it as long as it has life in it. Um, in cream, I also still have the Patrick Ta contour and bronzer, the contour powder, or sorry, contour, um, cream and then there's the powder bronzer next to it if only Alice could swatch um, difficult to swatch I uh, don't know why probably because my hands are so full of product um, yeah I've been like struggling with understanding if I want to keep it or not but I think I'm liking it so I'm gonna keep this one too um, powder ones difficult. I love the Glowish. This has been a discovery of this year. Um, really, really nice. Slightly luminous, but not shimmery. Um, right, good color for me. I have the shade to medium. I can't swatch it somehow again. Maybe because I had so much uh, powder product on my, or cream product on my hands. Uh, it doesn't swatch very well, but I love this one a lot. Definitely keeping that one. The Nabla one, I think this is one that I could even miss. Could I? I do love the formula though. I'm gonna keep it. I can't let go of Nabla skin glazing formulas. Fenty Beauty Matte Bronzer, I do still use this occasionally. This is the Mini in the shade Shady Biz. I still use this occasionally. It's a different undertone and a much lighter shade for me but it works and I like it. The Butter Bronzer, I showed you in this throwback video as well. This is uh, even lighter and I don't know. It still smells good in the end. I don't know what to do. 
I might just keep all of my bronzers, you guys. And finally, the Jouer. This is in the shade uh, medium to deep, which is not nearly deep enough. But uh, these are really, really good powders. They're both um, sheeny, not um, shimmery, but it looks they look really good on the cheeks. And I use the lighter one of the two usually. I want to keep them all. I love them all. But I can't, and I shouldn't. So... I'm gonna let go of the butter bronzer because I haven't used it until that throwback video, which means I can miss it. So that one's gonna go. The rest is gonna stay. And that's all. So here are all my, let me see. Here are all my, including palettes, uh, cheek products that I'm keeping. And now they fit into my Kind of fit into my um, containers which is the idea this one doesn't fit also because it doesn't fit in the drawer also because it's too high i'll figure something out but they fit into the containers right here i have the two palettes i have the big palette here that i'll take out and keep out and i feel much better about it i really needed to declutter my highlighters i'm so happy of keeping only uh, four uh, plus this little mini and I have the Vive uh, Skin Do coming in soon so I'm happy that everything else is gone and um, yeah don't forget to check out my Instagram if you're interested in any of these items or reach out to me I'm happy to discuss uh, costs and shipping and things like that um, because I want to rehome a lot of all of the things that I am getting rid of um uh, my heart is in pain for a few of these, especially the Amrazy one. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope these are nice to also get like reviews on everything and swatches. And that's why I watch the clutters usually, not to see how much people throw away, but to see all of the swatches and the things. I will also do a video in which I discuss all of the things that I decluttered during the year, because actually I did a lot of that and that I things that I already don't have anymore. So I'll discuss those separately. There was a lot of cheek products there as well that I tried and I didn't like and I decluttered immediately. So you'll hear about those in a separate video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.